drink today. It is Friday and it is the last Friday of October, which means it's the last Friday before Halloween, which means it's our last opportunity to make a really spooky drink. So I went to Pinterest and I found a spooky drink. The drink we're trying today is called a radioactive arachnid. And actually I didn't even like piece together that it was like a spider arachnid. Uh, drink. I just thought it looked cool with all of like the licorice hanging down out of the the glass. So I thought that looked Halloweeny. And now that I know that it's a spider, um, now it's gross and creepy. So it works. I traced this drink back to holodappy.com, but then holodappy says Dougal Bunny is the source, and I couldn't find you guys. It you know, it shouldn't be that hard to find a creator. Who made this a radioactive arachnid? It wasn't Holodappy. I can't find Google Bunny. Who is this magical secret creator? We might never know. And that is a sad day. To make this drink, you actually need red licorice strips and you're gonna put it in a lychee. Oh, uh, how do you say lychee? Lychee. Lychee. Okay, so you're supposed to thread it through a lychee, which creates the spider looking effect and it's really gross and creepy, but I don't even know how or where to buy a lychee, let alone how to say it properly. So we're gonna drape the licorice in and hope that it stays. This is gonna be controversial because I'm actually a red vine fan. I think I'm on team Twizzlers taste like plastic. Uh, but I do enjoy that these pull apart. That's really fun. It's like the string cheese of licorice. Um, I, I, licorice, I mean, it's, I don't even know if we could technically call it that. Um, but that's what we're using because I think it will look like spider legs. Next, you're going to pour in your grenadine. You're going to put in a little bit of Midori, uh, some vodka, and you're going to squeeze some lemon in there. Top it off with your orange soda. You've got yourself a radioactive arachnid. And there you have it, a radioactive spider drink. That is pure sugar, but you know, it is Halloween after all. Let's take a sip. That's good. That's delicious. I think because it's like one part vodka and five parts something else. I think that's the ratio that I enjoy. This is fun. And it's good. If someone gave me a drink like this at a party, I would just be like, like they would be so sorry that they let me have this. I'm not seeing spider so much as I'm seeing a weird human with a, a middle part, but either way, creepy. And I like that. Giving her a mom bob. This is the kind of drink you make for yourself when your kids are done trick-or-treating. They're done for how they're done for the night and you make a little something like this and they come down to say goodnight and they're like, Mom, what did you do with all of our licorice? And you're just like, oh. Nothing. I'm definitely gonna recommend the radioactive arachnid. I think this is fun. It's creepy. It's Halloween. Go for it. When else do you have an excuse to put all this licorice in your drink and call it a spider. And spoiler alert, you can just use orange soda and vodka. That's all I taste. I don't taste anything green. I don't know why we had to put anything green in it. I don't taste grenadine. But uh, but it's fun. I hope you have a good weekend and a happy Halloween. Cheers! I'm